What's up guys? So this is a video response to episode 622 ACLR open versus closed chain strengthening. The main point that we wanted to get across and we we're happy to see that most of you agreed is that open chain exercises can safely be implemented in someone's rehab program. Now, we know from the literature that there are quad strength deficits one even two years out after an ACLR when the athlete has already returned to sports. What do you think that quad deficit's gonna do? They're gonna move different, they're gonna compensate, putting them at increased risk for a further injury. Like many of you brought up, closed chain exercises are way more functional and they're gonna replicate the demands that our athletes have to get back to on the field. However, because they're closed chain, you are able to recruit other muscles, whether it's the soleus, whether it's the glutes, whether it's different portions of the quad. And because of that, we are advocates for not doing only closed chain exercises for someone's ACL reconstructive rehab. The proprioceptive feedback that occurs with closed chain exercises is really important early on when someone's trying to relearn how to move again and relearn how to just activate all the different muscles. And we're strong proponents of using closed chain exercises early on. However, later on in the rehab process, you 100% need to start working on an open chain knee extension to isolate the quad and work on quad strength. Now be smart about it. Start with higher RMs, start with lower weights, start with not going maybe to terminal knee extension, but 100% you need to get that quad strong again. Looking on that Eskimala 2012 systematic review that we posted, just level ground walking and loading response, there's already a lot of anterior shear going on at the knee. So to, for us to be super worried that we're going to put a lot of strain on the ACL, even when open chains introduced late, late it's just being a little bit too cautious in our opinion. Now we know how the body responds. It needs stress and it needs load in order to make physical adaptations. The same thing applies to this ACL. I'm not saying go pop open chain from week one, but slowly progressing the loads and being smart about it is how you're gonna get better outcomes with your ACLR patients. Uh, hopefully you guys really like this video response. We're really gonna try to do more of these, especially on the posts that have a lot of questions or a lot of comments. Um, let us know how you liked it. Let us know if you want us to keep doing this, if you want anything to change. Have a good weekend, guys.